Hello, we're going to talk about a very serious subject, raw dogging. Come on, you've done it before. And let's be honest, it was better. A better you starts today. I don't know if uh, this is just me, but I think the phrase raw dogging is kind of chat. I think it's the dog part. Because don't you think about a dog's penis when you... Don't you... Now, anyway, let's talk about it uh, in excruciating detail. So, a dog's penis likes to retract in itself, and I think that's where it's coming from anyway, but we are going to be discussing it in its brand new, minted term that is used exclusively for a really specific dumb reason, which is flying from LA to Sydney. <laughs> And not raw dogging get while doing the Mile High Club either. This is raw dogging in the parts in between the Mile High Club where you're sitting there. You, well, you can't fuck for 14 hours. You know, you got to do other things. And I think that that, no, well, this whole proves that you really don't need to do anything else. The whole point is to stare at the seat in front of you for half a day. Look. I'll give all of these zoomers with mullets, specifically that very annoying shaved mullet from the side from here to here, I will give you points for that. I will detract points because of the mullet, but I will give you points for doing it. That does show extreme fortitude, even though, let's be honest, the only reason that you do it is so that you can live stream on TikTok because you've figured out the same little algorithm hack that we all have that it is overpowered in the algo. So you're obviously doing it for that. Well done. I do very much like that there is this sort of social media trend, which I will say I have pioneered. Have you ever seen another video that's talking about the dangers of social media before? Don't look on any channel called TED or TEDx. Cheap ripoff. Anyway, that is what is now becoming a trend. Why do you think that this is becoming a trend? Why is it seen as being manly to do this? This is pathetic that we are in an age, don't you think? We're going out and walking without stimulus so without headphones that now has the name naked walking it's like jamie oliver had the naked chef i don't really understand the baby bare bones of it because <laughs> i think you still have clothes on when you don't have headphones on i don't know it's just it, it's been so long i can't remember but isn't it pathetic that all of these actions that really should be done without stimulus the entire point of doing this is to get away from the stimulus that you have if you are a staple of this channel, you would know that we are constantly pushing the idea that you should be going for two walks a day minimum. Trying to meditate at least once, preferably twice, but at the bare minimum, you should be getting out and walking about. Why should you be doing that? Because anything that you are working on, you are loading in your head. There's three basic accepted processes that is associated to creativity. So the first one is incubation. No, sorry, that's the second one. <laughs> the first one is... The first one is, uh, you know, like just collecting all of the data in your head. The second one is just incubating, letting it sit there like an egg. And then eventually that egg cracks into a beautiful idea. And so you can't do that at this day and age when you are constantly bombarding yourself with a bunch of like, this kid's got a mother as well, I like that. There's a bunch of shit that you see online that is constantly filling up all the gaps in your life that should have used to have silence. Now... I do very much like that this is becoming sort of like an ice bath trend. Can you sit there and stare at a wall for a long period of time? Because, yeah, okay, there's all these neuroscientists coming out being like, um, did you know that that's actually not going to, like, de-stimulate you? Shut up! Shut the hell up! Stop making them go on TikTok. This is their two options now. Stare at a wall or TikTok. I say stare at the wall. Why do I say that? Because we have very concrete evidence now that says that all of these social media platforms, especially TikTok, all of them slowly but surely do shrink your brain. They do. They shrink the functionality of it. In terms of if you're looking at it for even 10 minutes, first off, if you look at it for 10 minutes, you're very likely to spend two hours on it. We all know that that's the case. But the second thing is, in that 10 minutes, it shrinks your brain to the point that if you wanted to, you couldn't get off. You've become dumber in 10 minutes. It used to be that if you just look at your emails at the beginning of the day, that makes the rest of your day go terribly. So that's always such a bad habit to start with. Checking your phone first thing in the morning has to be the most damaging thing that anybody could possibly do to their head. 
Possibly. You have guaranteed that the rest of the day is going to be shit. Now we have all of these things being like, teens have a lot of mental health issues. What's that about? It's not mental health. It's mental fitness. It's because all of them are looking at their fucking phones all the time. And so it is constantly just feeding them two things. You suck. This chick that has like produce a Hollywood daughter uh, is the daughter of like some producer in Hollywood has a better life than you. So you're uh, automatically a fat. She's a massive winner, by the way. She's a massive winner because of this five seconds of her with her Botox filler or whatever. She is... You know, she's just ordained there because she's better than you. It had nothing to do with her family ties. Nothing at all. And then the other side of it is snarky little shitheads like me sitting there just being like, that's just a Nepo baby. F*** her. So it's just this endless foray of either just like someone's better than you or also just f*** you. That's it. If someone's better than you, fuck you. That's, we all know that these are the messages that generally get sent out on the internet. So I do very much approve of this new trend of raw dogging. However... Like everything on this YouTube channel, I honestly think you don't have to go that extreme that hard. Because do you think that that guy's going to do it again? Especially because, little FYI trip in life, I think that this is the indicator of a baller. Yeah, a true baller is somebody that is working when they're on the plane instead of watching movies. Bam, it is the best little portable office that you will ever have. And if you keep doing that when you're on the plane, if you keep working when you're on the plane, honestly, there is very few things ever that are going to give you that same laser-like focus on this task that you are doing, is, is flying. I don't know why, I think it's just because you've trained your little head that like, no, you're not allowed to get up. If you feel like pissing, just, okay, you better be busting because the guy's sleeping next to you, so you, you never wanna move, ever. So, and also the internet shit up there. So it's incredible work time. And if you keep doing that, you'll eventually go to business class where you'll get an even madder office and it'll be even better to work up there. I think that's all the way. You just keep working on your laptop up the socioeconomic strata that is the plane. <laughs> I think that's the way to do it. So here's what we know. We know for a fact that if you reduce your social media usage by even as much as 45 minutes a week, just 45 minutes a week, you could do that. Well, you're filling that up with something else and it's not utter crap. It's usually, even at the very least, what they're doing, staring at a wall, which that is in itself, that's the alpha move. They're right, they're right. I can't believe that they're just like, this is like man, babe, this is, uh, what do they call it again? Like chud behavior. Staring at a wall now is chud behavior. It's not chud, ba what, what is a chud? Shut up, Fucking Twitter dickheads. Look, dude. Okay, just because you change the letter from A to U in it doesn't mean it's not fucking mad. It is good to do these things. Being bored is a virtue. It has always been a virtue because of the things that are going to get you furthest in life. Of all the things that are going to get you the furthest in life, the one thing that I can guarantee you will do it is inspiration. It is that moment, that eureka moment, and here's the whole dichotomy of life. You cannot have that eureka moment of... Oh my God, I've got the idea that's going to make me a million dollars. You can't have that unless you are bored at certain points in your life. That's why we're walking. We're walking just so that we can give our brain an opportunity to just decompress. So it can have other ideas swill around in its mind. This is the same reason why, as much as everybody hates it, because they've all just decided like, Jordan Peterson sucks. Well, the Redditors haven't. And anyway, fuck off. Like, why are you watching this? You shouldn't be improving your lives. You should be sitting, sitting in the relegated personal echo chamber hell that you have decided for your life. Get out of here. I don't want you here. Unsubscribe. Everybody else do subscribe. Make sure you sign up to Jordan Shanks for an extra three videos a week where I will be sitting there telling you to do the basics all the time so that you have this constant reminder telling you instead of somebody sitting there and just being like my life's better than yours i'm just like here's how you get to be the person that's just like my life's better than yours why why is that because there are just some fundamentals that you need to practice and if you do practice them consistently they keep compounding on themselves and over the years you just start getting more and more advantages i am telling you there are certain behaviors there's certain characteristics and there's certain traits that successful people do and if you bed them into your head if you embed them into your head so that it is just a way of living you just keep going up you keep going up so anyway what have we learned from this? Raw dogging is mad. Yes, I'm talking about risking getting AIDS during sex. Yep, obviously. We all know that that's the case. But then the second one is, look, you don't have to do it then. I don't think that that is a good time to be raw dogging. 
But yeah, this whole idea, like it's pathetic that we have these words now, like naked walking, for instance, instead of just walking. But yes, yes, it is very, very important that you have moments of your day where you have solitude and peace. Now, true chuds <laughs> meditate, obviously. Yes, I know that we're going through the basics. But while this trend is here, I just want to put my support towards it because it's one of the very few TikTok trends that I've looked at and I thought, okay, that isn't absolutely mentally handicapped. Like that, that is, there's something there. And that is that you should be finding moments in your life where you are doing nothing. Because if you aren't doing nothing, you are filling your mind up with activity. This is just a little preview to what is behind the paywall of Jordan Shanks, but there was just talking recently about the concept of activity versus action. Now, you might want to write this down, which is that activity is just filling your days with shit because there is just this feeling in your mind that gets ticked over of like, you got to be doing something, you have to be doing something, you have to be doing something. That's activity. And so all you're doing is just draining your chi on a bunch of pointless things that just make you run around in circles like you're a hamster on a wheel. That's activity. Now, what activates activity? Social media. Social media gives you this feeling. It's the same as like getting addicted to stimulants. It's the same thing. It's just this thing of like, you need to be doing something all the time. And so, but you don't even have time to think about what you should be doing. It's just like, uh, 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 come on, as if that isn't modernity. As if that isn't modernity when you're getting into that social media cycle. So, uh, 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 you just feel like you're missing out on something, but you don't, you're, you're too frazzled to even know what. What are you missing out on? And then this is the incredible thing is when you start raw dogging, as it was referred to by the kiddies, you realize I'm not missing out on anything. And then you start realizing, oh, here's the things that I can gain in life. And I can't tell you what those are. All I can tell you is that that all happens in the incubation period. That all happens in those periods. We're talking like half an hour here and there where you are doing nothing at all and your brain has capacity to move around and think about things. This is something else that ever since I've just been really hammering, get the f off your phone on this channel. There are so many people that come back to me and how scary is this? A lot of people have been saying, saying to me, ever since you started talking about that, that is the first time that I can remember looking up at the clouds. Or the first time that I remember hearing birds chirping. Because it's just this endless, I made a giant meagerang. This meagerang giant thing is actually a very disturbing trend, which I'm a part of right now. Like that's just it, instead of what is in your surroundings. It's unbelievably damaging, unbelievably damaging. So what am I going to say? Same thing as always, make sure that you install something on your computer that just completely blocks out the internet for large periods of the day. That is an absolute must that you should be doing. And then other ones are, notice this. Notice when you are getting into that kind of like dragging mentality of like, uh, uh, I need something else. And then realize that's the point where you just need to stop. Like you are not gaining anything at that point. This is all down downside to you. You need to, when you are in that mode, just like, you know the mode that I'm talking about now, right? In fact, this is what I want you to do. This is your homework. The next time that you are in that mode, in fact, I give you full cake blanche. Most of the time I'm always like, get off the internet after one of these videos. No, this time I want you to stay on your computer and I want you to get to that point where it just feels like your mind is racing ahead looking for more and more stuff. And I want you to get completely bloated about it. Pretty much a big one of those dads is like, caught you smoking, yeah, smoke a whole carton. Do that for an, a, a, a night, for a night. You know that same feeling when you're like, yay, banana split and you have too much and then at the end you're just like, oh f Because I just want you to get that feeling in your head. And then I want you to associate this idea to that feeling. You are not gaining anything from this, nothing. You are getting nothing out of it. It is not making you feel good, obviously. This is all of the stats are saying, this is not making the youth feel good. Uh, and on top of that, you're not getting anything in terms of like knowledge. You're not getting anything in terms of like productive use of your time. You're not feeling happy about it. There is no advantage to it. But I want you to understand what that feeling feels like so that the next time, I just want you to be conscious of that feeling as opposed to just unconsciously going through the motions of it. If you are conscious of that feeling, at the very least, you know, okay, I'm in that zone, I can walk out. Same concept as lucid dreaming. If you sign up to this channel, maybe one day I'll teach you all about how to control your own dreams. When I figure it out myself, I haven't figured it out either. 
Also, I haven't read any books about it. It's just a funny concept. Anyway, shut up and subscribe.